The Fort Pierce community rallying behind the family of a man shot and killed by a St. Lucie County deputy in 2014. The family awarded $4 by a jury in a civil settlement earlier this month. That's $1 for each of his children and a dollar for funeral expenses. Megan McRoberts live in Fort Pierce with the changes Greg Hill's family, friends, and even strangers say they're pushing for. Megan. Well, Michael, at least 100 people, I'd have to say, marched here to the federal courthouse behind me this afternoon. This is where that $4 settlement was handed down just a couple weeks ago. This is also where Hill's loved ones says they were not given justice. Wanting their voices to be heard through the community. This crowd marches down US 1 for several blocks to the federal courthouse where they want to see change. Who do you want justice for? Yeah. Wanting justice for Hill's young son, here rallying for his dad on his birthday, and Greg's two daughters, all given one dollar after a St. Lucie County deputy shot and killed Hill in his own garage. It is hard to think of someone who had a huge part of their life and can be gone in only 65 seconds. In 2014, deputies responded to Hill's home to follow up on a noise complaint. Deputy said he opened the garage door intoxicated. As he closed that door, a deputy said he saw a weapon and shot Hill through the garage door. Investigators said a gun was found in Hill's back pocket. I don't care if he had a weapon, I have one. The point is this, he was at his own home, not in his own business. The fact that it can happen to him, it can, I just, I just, it just hurts my heart to see it. So I had to stop by and show support. His fiance Monique Davis overwhelmed by the support for her family's fight. Hopefully change in there. Our judicial system. Davis is appealing the verdict with more support than ever. We're going to keep on marching and we're going to keep on speaking our opinions and our voices will be heard until we get into that courtroom again. And Sheriff Ken Mascara has supported the verdict, saying that his deputy made the best decision he could given the circumstances he faced that day. There has been a GoFundMe account that has raised more than $80,000 for the Hill family. In fact, during the rally, someone anonymously donated $20,000. Reporting live in Fort Pierce, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.